In this episode, we see the aftermath of a bloodbath. I hop on an orange pony, and we try to find the infamous Mad Moose. What do you mean you've never gone down that? <laughs> it just goes up and over and oh, <laughs> never hit it in reverse, I guess. <laughs> Why am I walking down? Why don't I have a bike? That's a great question. I was so pumped to finish uh, a race at last dog without breaking my bike. But I come out to ride with Mitch. <laughs> and we break part of the water pump housing. So we're cutting this trip short. Water pump housings were out of stock and on back order from all the major suppliers. I was able to find a KDX 200 and swap over some parts. Easy fix. Mad Moose, here we come. Looks like it's gonna rain. Oh, I hope it doesn't turn into hail. Taking a detour on my way to Michigan. I really get spoiled today. Oh, there she is. Okay. Whoa, and I'm already dropping. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous because I'm on a bike that I don't know. So I'm out here with Hunter in Hot Springs, South Dakota. And he's got Black Hills Dual Sport. If you want to rent a bike out, you should check it out. He's letting me use his uh, 2020 KTM 300 XCW. And uh, I'll try to just get a hold of this thing and not, not have it take control of me, but this property is wild, man. It's pretty sweet. Slippery, so I guess this is good practice. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me use your bike. I really appreciate it. And this is freaking beautiful. I love this terrain, man. I made it to Marquette, and I'm getting a taste of what the terrain is going to be like for the race. It's rocky, it's flowy, and it's giving me issues. Well, that's all bubbling, that's not good. We're running kind of hot. 220? 220. Huh. I think I could use a fan. I am out at Mad Moose and I am trying to walk as much of the course as I can the day before the race. Identified different line choices, so there is a bottleneck. I could get around it. We'll see, hopefully it pays off. Is this where they keep the Mad Moose? Hmm. Probably don't want to fall in that. <laughs> it's always nice when you have a little reminder. And it all looks Oh, it looks doable. I say that now, but when I'm tired, that might be a different story. Nice and flowy, and I can't wait for tomorrow. Ooh, everybody's lining up for the start. 
so we're being let out in waves. The pros, followed by the A class, then the B class and C class riders. I had a chance to reunite with the Midwest family as we waited to start our race. Dirt bike, dirt bike. Here it is, waiting for the start. Heart is racing a thousand miles an hour. Just pure anticipation. and time for some passes. There's maybe a total of seven people in front of me right now. I'm feeling pretty good. Four down. I have to be in the top five. I just have to keep this pace. the race I need to finish it and my bike needs to finish it so I'm gonna let my bike cool down a little bit yeah I'm gonna let it cool down in the next vid you'll see if I finish the race Gerard pops out his shoulder wait so you're riding with a popped out shoulder I freak out and see a ghost and highlights from the main event do you have that twisted friend that gets a kick out of other people's misery? You know who I'm talking about. Share this video with them. If you dig these videos, make sure to subscribe. There's plenty of carnage on the way. I'll leave you with some footage of the baby goats. Oh, wow. wow, those guys wow. stand out so, so hard compared to I don't know. other people. I don't know how they do it. That's crazy. <laughs>